This is the famous shaggy mane mushroom or Coprinus comatus, the Latin name. Um, I would say that this is one of my favorite mushrooms that I can find many, many times around the house or in the parks. Um, so it's very common in the cities, but not only in the cities, you can find it also in the woods or the margin of the woods or in uh, pastures or in uh, other grassy areas around the city so it's a wonderful mushroom uh, with a wonderful taste or flavor uh, you can pick the fruit bodies uh, and make sure that you're not going to place them in the fridge because they will <laughs> liquefy in a matter of an hour or two they will start to do that so what happens actually it's that this mushroom turns the whole cap turns into a black liquid um, it said that the cap starts to digest itself and because of that you can't uh, really preserve it unless you have some really original methods even if you're going to try to freeze it, even in that case, um, you're not going to really succeed. Uh, there were some attempts that they uh, froze this mushroom at minus, I don't know how much, but anyway. Uh, and in that case, they, they managed to delay the uh, digestive, self-digestive process, but still, uh, if you're going to pick it, just go right away for it, wash it well, and then uh, you can saute this in with some butter, uh, with some garlic, and there's some uh, salt and pepper. Just if you want to feel the flavor, then I use a very simple recipe for it. Now it's called a shaggy mane just because it has these scales all over on top of the cap and it's called coprinus because uh, the mushroom belonging to, to this genus uh, are known to be mushrooms that love um, areas that has dung horse dung cow dung and so on so it means that this mushroom likes uh, fertile soils and it also likes humidity a lot so you'll see it growing right after rain with a day or two now let me look a little bit into the uh, description of it and let's see <clears throat> so the common name is sh the shaggy mane mushroom and it has this uh, cylindrical bell-shaped cap that it's a white background with some pinkish thing tinges in there but also covered in these scales these scales are variable in color some are lighter uh, whitish uh, some are rather grayish uh, pinkish but also brownish and especially in the middle of the cap you will see that in most cases this mushroom has a brown spot which is uh, this um, uh, where you see the letter A uh, let me point there the, the mouse so you can oopa, let me go back okay all right so <clears throat> Now the gills at first are white and then they start slowly to turn pink as the fruit body or the mushroom uh, matures and at one point you will see that uh, the pinkish color mixes with some light blackish color and then it starts to become darker and this happens at the base or at the margin of the gills and so the li liquefying process starts there and then goes slowly upwards 
and while this happens then the margin is going to curl upwards and at one point you'll find that the whole mushroom uh, I mean the cap of the mushroom it's turning into a black ink now this black ink was used in the past um, as ink used in uh, in you know writing process but also it was used by painters to paint and even today some people use that ink to paint uh, the shaggy may mushroom uh, the gills are crowded and they're free from the stalk and um, let me talk a little bit about the stalk the stalk it's cylindrical it's white it's rather smooth and it has a ring a white color ring that it's movable so you might see the ring sometimes down on the ground on the base of the stalk um, <clears throat> the stem doesn't dissolve itself doesn't digest itself it remains intact and mostly it's going to become colored in black because of the um, uh, black ink that comes from the gills while they digest themselves and the base of the stalk it's uh, bulbose this is how it's called it has a wider base I would say an enlarged base and if you're going to make a section a cross section through the stalk you'll see that it's hollow inside and it's it, it has this uh, fibrous texture so the flesh it's white it's rather thin uh, although it's rather mushroomy I would say that it has a different um, other than that uh, if you're going to try to taste the raw mushroom that you'll find that it has a mild taste uh, it's not pungent it's not different the spores are black now I already told you that it grows everywhere in uh, in the grassy areas in the pastures and all of that now <clears throat> you'll see that it pops when the weather slightly turns cooler and it's after the rain always um, and you'll find it from March starting with March up to October and uh, make sure that you're going to identify it correctly because this particular mushroom especially when it's young then may be confused with some other uh, mushrooms that are toxic like chlorophyllum molybdites or some other related species uh, belonging to the same genus Coprinus and also um, can be confused with macrolepiotas especially if you, you you're not trained you don't have that your your eye trained in um, differentiating be between mushrooms then you can uh, confuse this with macrolipiota racodes or macrolipiota procera or the skin uh, snake skin mushroom now let's see the lookalikes a little bit <coughs> so here on the upper image it's chlorophyllum molybdites now this is a toxic mushroom and you can differentiate the shaggy mane from this especially because this one doesn't liquefy and the gills they're greenish to olive green and they stain darker when handled um, also the spore print for this one it's green so these are some major uh, characteristics that you can differentiate the shaggy mane from this one but also this one 
um, may form fairy rings while in the shaggy mane you don't see any fairy rings there you see the solitary fruit bodies or sometimes you can see two fruit bodies or sometimes you can see a lot of other um, fruit bodies it, it, it appears in groups or in troops um, also this one as you may see here um, shares pretty much the same habitat and also the same season and it's toxic so make sure that you differentiate well uh, the shaggy mane from this one and then we have here another example which is the coprinus atramentarius now this is a mushroom which is toxic when it's uh, um, taken with alcohol even if you're going to uh, drink alcohol uh, let's say with two or three days before eating this mushroom it might cause some uh, adverse reactions so make sure that you're going to <laughs> differentiate well uh, between these two even though that this mushroom here you can see that it's pretty much different it has a different color and the whole cap it's rather smooth it doesn't have scales it's uh, tan colored it's not white pinkish and also the size in this one it's a little bit smaller but of course this one also uh, has the cap digesting itself um, and also the spores are black in this one uh, also the habitat it's pretty similar and it may be seen in gardens in a grassy area in the cities in the parks so it's quite common this one too so these are mainly the two um, mushrooms that you can confuse most likely the shaggy mane um, another one that I told you about is the macrolepiota um, genus but uh, I'm going to talk about uh, macrolepiota procera and racodes and you'll see more exactly how they look alike uh, and you will see also some of the differences between the shaggy mane and those ones